The Novice TDA 1000 Thermogravimetric Analyzer is used to measure changes in weight associated with changes in temperature. The most common measurement performed on the TDA is proximate analysis of solids. The TDA consists of three main parts the compressed gas cylinders, the instrument with blower, and the computer with software to operate this instrument. The compressed gas cylinders include a compressed air tank used for the oxygen source, a nitrogen tank, and a compressed air tank shared with the bomb calorimeter and used to power the TGA pneumatics. First, make sure the compressed air cylinder for pneumatics is open and set to 80 psi. Second, compressed air and nitrogen cylinders are open and set to approximately 60 psi and 50 psi, respectively. Now, let's make sure the fume hood is functioning as indicated by a green light on the upper right of the hood. Next, the vent tubing outlet is venting into the fume hood and is held in place by the fume hood sash. The following checklist is to be performed before using the TGA. First and foremost, samples to be tested are solids, not liquids. Now, make sure the computer is on and the instrument software is open. Next, let's make sure the printer is on and has sufficient paper. Now that the instrument software is open, go to the Options tab, down to Diagnostics, wait for it to load, and hit up. Make sure all crucibles have been removed from the carousel and cleaned. Your material choice should be in small enough particle sizes to fit completely inside provided crucibles. The scale can read up to four decimal places and the heaviest sample size allowed is 10 grams. Instrument operation. To begin, click the options tab and move down to the programs toolbar. Choose the appropriate program for your application. Now, go to the options tab and move down to diagnostics. The diagnostics window will pop up. Without any crucibles in the carousel, click down. Once the lid is closed, click the tear button to zero out the scale. Next, click on the weight icon. When prompted, enter the number of samples to be tested, not including the empty reference crucible. Carousel positions will appear to fill in carousel diagram, indicating which slots to be used in the analysis. A message will appear asking you to place a crucible as a reference on position zero. The home position. Press OK to rotate the carousel so that the next position to be filled is in the home position. Simple crucible in that position. Repeat until all needed carousel positions are filled with empty crucibles. After the last empty crucible has been placed, the lid should close automatically to measure and record the empty crucible weights, and then reopen so that the samples can be loaded. A window will appear indicating the crucibles have been weighed. Press OK. Ample information can now be entered. For the first sample, create a new sample identifier by typing an alphanumeric name in the prompt box. A good sample identifier is analyst last name, sample number, and replicate number. Remove the sample crucible from the carousel in the home position and fill it with the desired amount of sample. Put the sample crucible 
back on the carousel and press the red test weight button. This will lower the carousel, setting the crucible on the balance pedestal. The current weight of sample will be displayed to in change the, the mass of the sample. Remove the crucible from the carousel and add or remove sample. Return the crucible to the top position of the pedestal and reweigh. Do not press the red button again yet. If the weight is unreasonable or varying widely, move the crucible around on top of the pedestal so that the sides of the crucible are no longer touching the sides of the carousel. Enter or the red button to continue. Repeat these steps until all samples are identified and loaded. The instrument will automatically close the lid and re-weigh the samples. After all samples are in the crucibles, press enter to continue. The instrument will automatically close the lid and re-weigh the samples. Once the samples have been re-weighed with the lid closed, and the analysis is ready to run. Click the execute icon. A message will be displayed to asking to regulate airflow. Adjust the flow meter on the front of the instrument to between four and six liters per minute and click OK. It's analysis. If the analysis was successful, the computer will automatically print the data. The lid will gradually rise throughout an automatic cool cooling cycle. Only when the lid is completely open and the furnace is cooled to 40 degrees Celsius should crucibles be removed for cleaning. Crucibles can be cleaned by emptying the ash into the non-hazardous waste and wiping out the crucibles with a Kim wipe. Crucibles can also be washed in soap and water as long as they are rinsed with distilled water and allowed to dry before being used again.